In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to paint the different legions of Chaos Space Marines for your games of Warhammer 40,000. I'll be showing you how to paint their different colours of armour and how to get them highlighted, along with any other details like cloth and pouches. I'm even going to show you some of the cool details that each legion is known for. This is an easy to follow step by step guide, showing you everything you'll need to know, so by the end of this tutorial, you'll have the confidence and knowledge to get your own Chaos Legions painted. Welcome to Tabletop Ready, my name's Michael, and in this video I want to show you how to paint the Legions of Chaos good enough for display and for use in games of Warhammer 40,000. All of the paints and brushes I use throughout this tutorial will be shown on the screen as I use them, and they'll also be listed in the description along with any hobby equipment I think you'll find useful with affiliate links to where you can buy them. As well, if you enjoy my content here on Tabletop Ready, then let me know by clicking that like button or leave me a comment. I love reading them and hearing about your own hobby. And I want to say a massive thank you to all the amazing people who've made this tutorial possible with their continued support. It really means a lot. I've already shown you how to paint the Black Legion in a previous tutorial. And in that tutorial, I go into detail about the different skills and techniques used. So for this tutorial, I'm going to mostly just focus on the steps and colors. So if you need more help with the techniques you see me using throughout this video, then go check out that Black Legion tutorial where I'll go into more detail. To help make our Chaos Space Marines easy to paint, I've built them with sub-assemblies. This is going to let me get into those places that would normally be difficult to get to if they'd been fully assembled. I've also chosen to undercoat them using lead voucher spray, which I find helps when painting all that trim, but honestly you could choose whatever colour undercoat works best for you. And through this tutorial, I'll be showing you all the techniques and steps that you'll need to get the different Chaos Legions painted, and to make it easy to follow along with, I've split the tutorial up into different chapters. In this first section, I want to show you how to get all the different Chaos Legions armour painted, and how we can get them shaded and highlighted. To start with, we're going to need to decide what base colours we want to paint the armour and trim for the different Legions. If we get these painted now, it's a lot easier to neaten things up before we get any shading and highlighting done. Whenever I'm painting Chaos Space Marines, I like to start with both the armour and trim first. And because not all legions are the same colour, let me show you the different base colours we can use to represent this. For any silver trim, we can start with Iron Hand Steel, and this would be for the Alpha Legion or any word bearers. If you want brass trim like the Night Lords, we can use Rune Lord Brass. And if you want to have gold trim used by the Iron Warriors, start with Retributor Armour. And once you're done painting all the armour trim, we want to get the base colours for the armour painted. If you want to paint Night Lords, your base colour is going to be Night Lords Blue. And for the word bearers, it's Corn Red. For any Alpha Legion, we want to mix an equal amount of Incubi Darkness and Sotek Green. And if you're painting Iron Warriors, we want to start with Iron Hand Steel. Remember, we want to thin our paint with an equal amount of water and use multiple thin layers for best results. Now we've got all the base colours done, I want to show you how to paint each legion's armour and we can worry about finishing the trims later. The first legion we're going to work on are the Night Lords and their dark blue armour with really vibrant highlights. Something I wasn't able to show you with the Black Legion is how to make flatter areas of armour more interesting using a glaze. For our Night Lords we're using a bad and black and to make this a glaze we want to thin it down with twice the amount of water. This is going to make our paint more transparent, helping to create smoother transitions. We're using this abad and black glaze around the lower legs and other areas we think could be more interesting, applying it in even thin layers. To help smooth things even more, we can start using a glaze of the colour we're transitioning from, working it in the opposite direction. When you're done, you should see how it's helped with those flatter areas and we can now work on creating definition with a recess shade. Using a bad and black for our recess shade, we want to apply this directly into any recesses and around details. This is a more controlled way of creating definition, than using a non overwash so we don't affect any base colours we may have already painted. We can neaten things up after you're done using our base colours if you think you need to. Now we've done our glazing and shading, let's see how to get our Night Lord's armour highlighted. So I've already gone into a lot of detail about highlighting and the different kinds of highlights we can do with the Black Legion. So in this tutorial, I just want to show you the different colours we can use to highlight for each Legion's armour. Our first highlight is going to be a chunky highlight using Cantor Blue, 
Remember we want a thicker line so we can see it once we've done the other highlights after this. Next there's an edge highlight and for this we use an Outdorf Guard Blue. And once you're done with the edge highlights, Temple Guard Blue is used for the finer highlight to make some edges more prominent. Finish the Night Lord's armour with a spot highlight, painting blue horror on all the corners. Now let's see how we can get the armour of the word bearers painted. Again we can start by glazing some of the flatter areas of armour using Galvor Back Red. To create the definition for the armour we want to use Galvor Back Red again to do a recess shade. After you're done we're ready to highlight. For the chunky highlights we're using Wazdaka Red. Then Swig Orange for the edge highlight. Finish with a finer highlight of Towlite Okra and then Ungor Flesh for our spot highlights. Now it's time to see how we can paint our Alpha Legion armour. Before we work on highlighting, let's first do our glazing and then a recessed shade using Inky by Darkness. To highlight, let's start with Sotek Green for the chunky highlight. We then want to use an equal mix of Sotek Green and Cybrite Green. For our finer highlights, let's use Cybrite Green. And finally, Gauss Blaster Green to paint spot highlights. If you want to get fancier with the armour, we can create some volumetric highlights on the more curved areas of the armour where line highlights wouldn't really work. This is done turning our highlight colours into glazes and working up to the lightest colour in the centre. The last legion armour I want to show you how to paint is the armour of the Iron Warriors. Rather than using a glaze to create interest on the flat areas of armour, let's use some Iron Warriors instead where we would have glazed. To create the definition, instead of a recess shade we can switch to using some Null Noil and applying this all over the areas of armour instead. Only use enough to cover these areas comfortably to avoid it pulling up too much where we don't want it to. And once that's dried we can do an edge highlight using Stormhost Silver. For any black armour panels and details our base colour is a bad and black. We're then going to paint a chunky highlight of Eshin Grey then a line highlight using Dawnstone. And to finish any armour, we can paint little scuffs and scratches using the same colour we used for our edge highlights. Build this up slowly until you're happy with how everything looks. It's really up to you what kinds of highlights you want to use and what kinds of highlights you want to do. I just want to show you what's possible. Just remember to take your time and only ever do what you feel comfortable doing. Now we've gone through painting the armour for the different legions, I want to move on to getting the different trims painted and talk about painting weapons. I've now covered the different armour colours, so let's work on painting the armour trims and weapons. Even though I'm using the different Chaos legions as examples on how to paint things, there's nothing stopping you from mixing and matching and creating your own Chaos legions and colour schemes. Just have fun with it. We've already got the different base colours painted for the different trims at the start of the tutorial, so let's now see how we can get them finished. The silver trim for our word bearers and alpha legion are done in the same way, using Drakenoff Nightshade and applying this all over the trim. Finish the silver trim with a Stormhouse Silver Highlight. To finish the brass trim of the Night Lords, let's do an all over wash using Seraphin Sapia. Highlight the brass trim with Canop Tech Alloy. Our last trim to paint is the gold trim of the Iron Warriors, and again we want to do an all over wash, but this time with Reichland Flesh Shade. Once the shade is dried, let's finish our gold trim using Canop Tech Alloy again to highlight those edges. We now have the trim and armour both painted for each of the legions, so it's now time to look at how we can paint all the other details on them. And again I've already covered a lot in the Black Legion tutorial. A lot of shared details that are silver can be painted the same way starting with lead belt chaff for our base colour. And once you're done painting the base colour for all these details we can use some Norn Oil to create our definition. Then finish all these silver details using Stormhost Silver. Some legions have black weapon casings rather than the dark metal of the Black Legion. And if you want to paint these black weapon casings for your legion, start with a bad and black. We then want to use some Corvus Black for a chunky highlight to start bringing out the shapes. 
then we can bring out the edges with an edge highlight using Dawnstone. And finally, finish in any weapon casings with a spot highlight of Administratum Grey. With all our metals and weapons done, let's work on painting the different kinds of materials like their pouches and loincloths. In this section, I want to show you how we can get the loincloths and other materials painted. It's really important that we take our time when painting miniatures, and we can't expect to be able to finish painting something in just one sitting. There's really no rush, and by the time we finish painting, we'll have some miniatures that we can be really proud of. There are a couple of different ways we can paint our loincloths, depending on how you want them to look. If you want a weathered and worn black cloth, we can start with Corvus Black. We can now use Dark Reaper to paint a chunky highlight on the raised folds. Then finish with a line highlight of Femrisine Grey. For a cream coloured cloth, start with some Rakar Flesh for your base colour. Then darken the shallow folds with Bane Blade Brown. After that, we can do a line highlight using Screaming Skull. In the Black Legion tutorial, I'll show you how to paint dark brown for the pouches. But for an alternative to this, we can paint them light brown, starting with Mornfang Brown, creating our definition with some Norn Oil. We can then bring out the details and shapes with a chunky highlight using Steel Legion Drab. Then finish these pouches, highlighting all the edges with Carrick Stone. We've now explored some alternative ways to paint the cloth and pouches on our Legionnaires, which means we can move on to painting the cooler stuff that our Legions are more known for. In this final section of the tutorial, I want to show you how to paint all the interesting details you might see on the different legions. Let's start with painting the lightning you see on the Night Lord's armour, and this first involves using Outdoor Guard Blue to rough in your lightning pattern. Spend some time working on this until you're happy with how it looks. We can then build upon these using Temple Guard Blue. We can then finish our lightning design painting little dots of Baharoff Blue wherever lines come together. It's always worth spending that extra time and effort painting those cool effects and designs because it's those details that really elevate our miniatures and for me it's the more fun part of painting. For the yellow chevrons that the Iron Warriors are famous for we want to pick a panel or area and paint it Avalon Sunset to start with. When we've got a solid colour rough in your black stripes using a bad and black and then neaten them up with Avalon Sunset. Now we want to deepen that yellow and give it a richer colour and we can do this using some Iandan yellow contrast. This has affected those black stripes though, so let's repaint them and at the same time we can eaten everything up. We then want to finish any chevron design using dawn yellow along any edges. The last thing I want to show you is how we can make our word bearers more interesting with some flames. For the flames we can use Avalon Sunset to paint different lengths of squiggly lines. Then all we need to do is to make them gradually thicker towards the base. It's been a lot of fun showing you how to get all these different Chaos Legions painted, including all the different designs and effects. As well, painting all these different schemes has allowed us to explore and experiment highlighting and painting with different colours. So let's see how they turned out. Before we see the reveal of how they turned out, I want to say a massive thank you to Michael Holtz and Vlad Yugorov, who have recently become supporters to the channel. And I especially want to thank Gibby Tyler, who's made a very generous donation and made this tutorial possible. Thank you so much. And if you want to support the channel as well, you can become a channel member or join my Patreon, where you'll get tutorials early and see what I'm getting up to behind the scenes. Our Chaos Legions are now finished and I hope I've been able to give you the confidence and knowledge to go away and paint your own. I've got plenty of other tutorials on the channel including dedicated tutorials if you want to see how I get my miniatures ready for painting and learn how to get better at highlighting. I really enjoy making these tutorials and I hope you find them useful. You can really help the channel by liking the video and commenting below. 
make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future content and I'll see you in the next video.